We've all heard the recommendation to get our health information from credible sources. Heck, you've probably heard us say that a time or two. But what does that really mean? How do you know the information that you're looking at is even legit? How do you become media and website savvy? Before you spend time and money on a treatment for your physical or mental health, you want to know that it works. How does it compare to other available treatments? And what are the possible risks or side effects? Yet, sifting through the information overload out there can be a little overwhelming. And not all the information that you find on the internet, in books, or in magazines is equally correct. We get that. That's where understanding evidence-based medicine can help. Evidence-based medicine is a careful approach that aims to strike a balance between three essential components. The existing scientific evidence, the patient's values, and the expertise of the health provider. Right now, we're going to focus on the scientific evidence part. Let's start with media reports. Hardly a day goes by without a news report about the latest medical research. Sometimes the media presents the story exactly as it is, faithfully reporting the findings of a new study. Other times the media can sensationalize, distort, or even misrepresent what the study actually found. You may not be getting the full story. If you're wondering about the validity of a news report, it might help to ask yourself a few questions. Is the story actually an advertisement for something? Does the story give different points of view, or just one? Does the story provide expert opinion from people who are not involved in the study? If you want to follow up on a media report, you can discuss the report with your health provider. Try to find the source of the information. Is it published in a reputable medical journal, or is it based on testimonials? Try and find out what other experts in the field think of the information and the study's design. Now, let's chat about websites. It can be difficult to tell which websites to trust and which ones to question. Again, there are some questions that you can ask yourself. Who's responsible for the website? Who wrote the article that you're reading? And what's the original source of the information? Does the website provide access to the original research studies from which they base their information? Is the website selling something? Generally speaking, websites that are created and maintained by credible organizations such as nonprofit or government agencies tend to contain more reliable information with less bias than blogs or commercial sites. Be very careful of commercial sites that masquerade as not-for-profit sites. Trust the sites that you know. Also, be aware of health myths that make impossible claims such as miracle or breakthrough treatments. And lastly, remember that if you need medical advice, you should always seek the service of a competent health provider. Competent health providers include professionals who are licensed by regulatory bodies, such as doctors, nurses, psychologists, and social workers, among others. If you find information that you think is relevant to your physical or mental health, take a copy to your appointment and discuss it with your health provider. To learn more about evidence-based medicine and how to talk to your health provider, check out our other video, Evidence-Based Medicine Part 1, or go to our website at teenmentalhealth.org.